Hello everyone, and welcome back to Rival Stars, where we are here on our horse ranch, getting ready to carry on our adventures in the desktop version of Rival Stars Horse Racing, which turns out to be extremely beautiful and a lot easier to use than the mobile version, to the point where I am completely and utterly enchanted. <gasps> Look at our new horses, you guys. I am so in love with Radish Dreamer. She just has these amazing stripes down her side. She's got like one awesome sock and a little diamond on her face and then we have also got the absolutely beautiful blackberry bagel who even though she was just born as a fawn or a fawn as a full last time has actually already gone ahead and grown up and look at her she is so pretty i can't believe how much fun it is just to see the stripes from her mom down on her side kind of the twirly mask that she got from her father i don't even remember what her dad was called <gasps> but look at this I can actually look at her pedigree and see. So she's actually descended from Admirals Raspberry and Bad Blood, the mayor. Extraordinary Caffeine. <laughs> A stallion named Extraordinary Caffeine, and then Mystery Sailor Amer, and then of course our lovely Radish Dreamer, her mom, and Foolish Lion. I love that you can kind of see this build up of the pedigree over time. That is so cool. And I really love that we have our own horses to take care of now. All right, so we're gonna pick up where we left off last time with tackling some of the goals for the story quest, because the more that we do with the story quest, the higher the level that we will actually achieve for our prestige, and the higher the prestige you have, the more things that you can begin to do. So let's go ahead and check in on our story goals and incoming. To help with the income, I've restarted the grazing business we used to run. We'll get periodic payments that we can collect from the homestead. So collect income from the homestead. Got it. So I guess we're letting other people like graze their their horses here, which is pretty cool. The ranch earns extra income from being out, rented out for activities and functions. Well, that's pretty awesome. Oh, neat. Oh my gosh. And we have a 25% chance of a thank you gift. That's a lot of money. Look how much money we're about to collect. Yay! Okay, so that's actually really good. Uh, apparently we can upgrade this to have like tier two income, um, but I cannot actually do that just yet. So we can't fix up the ranch just yet. I would really love to be able to do that though. That's actually kind of fun to imagine that we're fixing up the family ranch because it's totally what we have done in our Sims adventures and so many different legacies. Our Sims Three, 101 Dalmatians Legacy has a really fun farm that we fixed up, as well as our Sims 4, like, cow plant challenge uh, with the Green Family Legacy, and now we're doing the cottage sort of setup, repairing an old cottage with, like, the Green Family. So, ah, I'm just getting really excited. It makes me want to start that Sims 3 family where we can just kind of build up a horse ranch and take care of everybody. So maybe some of these horses that we actually have here at, like, this ranch. Look at the house! <gasps> it's all beat up! Can I fix the house what the heck like look like oh I'm, i just want to roll up my sleeves i want to like repair the fencing <sighs> i'm really into this okay i'm excited let's keep going all right let's see what we've got so we collected income it's a decent start but soon we'll need to fund some substantial expansions remember to keep collecting income from the homestead to help pay for everything that needs to be done okay and you guys have warned me that things get expensive and horses are kind of majorly expensive. So that makes sense. <gasps> neat and tidy. I want to do something neat and tidy. Before I can train your horses any further, we should clean up our facilities. All right. So we need hardware or wait, like I think we get hardware, safety equipment and tools for upgrading the training facility so we can do better with speed, sprint, acceleration. No doubt that has to do with cleaning up all the weeds, tidying things up. Oh, now I want to play Story of Seasons like poot again pioneers of all of town all right so let's clean things up it'd be kind of cool to be able to um like mimic cleaning things up just around here and like see the environment change that would be really fun so we want to upgrade the facility for speed training so now we can train up to level five speed there's so much to organize i've only just begun to make a dent ah i love being able to like work with everybody on this all right, clearly all that money we just got is immediately going into like, <gasps> it actually does upgrade on the outside. Oh, I'm so enchanted. I love tidying things up. You guys don't understand. Games like Gardenscapes and Homescapes are some of my favorites because you just have a mess and then you clean it up and Chips thinks that it's just hilarious that I love that. 
All right, well, let's carry on. There we go. We've now tidied up quite a few things. I'd heard of dusting off your saddle, but this cleanup adds a whole new meaning. Thank you very much, TJ. Nice. So we just improved all of that. I know we've only just started cleaning up, but I can already see this place's charm. We'll get your horses trained up and ready, just like in the glory days. Yay! All right, we'll go ahead and harvest all these. Uh, get the word out. We need to let people know that we've got the ranch up and running. How about some advertising? So upgrade a full star to tier two. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. That sounds like a very good thing to do. All right, we're going to upgrade this. All right, chance of a higher grade plus 5%, and we can now breed horses up to level two. Got it. So that is now taken care of. Maybe we can say that we like run a, a mix of like a rescue horse ranch and we also run a place where people can board their horses or if they need a place for their horses to like safely have their foals and be raised, they can come here. I love being around horses again. It's been a while since I've ridden. I fell off a few years ago and nearly broke my back. Still, I didn't want to give them up completely, you know? You've got to be really careful. Like, you should be wearing a helmet while you are riding a horse, absolutely. And then shape up. Now that you're here, it's time to focus our efforts on restoring the ranch. Upgrade our homestead income to tier 2, and upgrade our homestead storehouse to tier 2. Got it! The shed and the, like, front porch need some work. We've got everything we need to expand the storehouse. Let's get to it. Alright, let's go ahead and get to it. Uh, so upgrade to, uh, use to upgrade our facilities. Wow, having this hardware is like really, really good. But we need to do more upgrading. Take care of like everything that Grandpappy and my dad, who both died, uh, actually have for us. I mean, it's cause, uh, literally my dad died because he had like gotten an accident during a horse race. So you really need to take care of yourself when you're doing these things, guys. We finally fixed the leak in the storehouse roof. That's been bugging me for years. Yay! Okay, so we achieved that. And then, let's see. And then we need the homestead income upgraded to tier 2. Okay, some improvements on the ranch. Let's get started. Uh, alright. How to improve? Oh, right over here, I think. And then we'll go ahead and upgrade. Yay! Okay. <gasps> we fixed the front porch! Oh, that makes me really happy. Well, the place is looking much better. We cleaned up the house and got rid of those ugly vines. Yay, Francis, I'm so happy. We're making everything nice and tidy. It's so good to get some love back into the old homestead. I wish your mother was here to see a new race, uh, to see it getting a new lease on life, but she's not interested in the racing game anymore. I mean, her husband died and probably her dad. Well, actually, probably her father-in-law. All right, lumber and masonry, got it. We've started to make an impression on the local scene. Let's build off that success. Let's enter two more races and see how we do. All right, so we'll do that in just a second. But apparently there's something new here in the market. Volcanic Nurse and Surreal Sailor are actually up for breeding. And I think if I gather what you guys have been telling me correctly, like you guys also have these like horse studs available to breed with your horses right now, which kind of blows my mind, which means that like we could have like horse siblings. I, I think that would be really fun to be able to see like your guys horse siblings. Oh my gosh. Okay. So that's going to be really cool to see. However, right now we're going to go ahead and focus back on the racing. So let's go see how that's doing. And just a quick disclaimer, because some of you guys were really nervous about this, but in real life, I am completely and utterly against any kind of animal racing, horse racing. I mean, I guess if I had a tortoise and like you just put a couple next to them and you watched them go speedy, speedy go after a strawberry together, that's one thing. But horse racing, dog racing, in real life, absolutely not. I was actually friends with a uh, wonderful equestrian student when I was in college. I went to a private university for women, and actually they specialized in equestrian university there's only one of those in the United States so now I have given away where I went to college for my first few years <laughs> but it was an equestrian college believe it or not um, and I was there for biosciences but all of the girls in my science class were there for equestrian sciences so I got to know a lot about horses and without fail 
all of them were against horse racing and I learned a lot about like the not good parts of horse racing and this thankfully is a game but I did want to use those disclaimers it really is not good for the horses in the long term whatsoever it's not good for the people like it's just a mess so this is not to endorse actual horse racing this is just because it's a game just like when I shoot people when we're playing Horizon Zero Dawn I'm not actually advocating going out with a bow and arrow and like going shooty shooty shoot at the bad guys <laughs> So that aside, let's go ahead and unlock this brand new place that TJ wants us to actually check out and just accept that this is, we're just going to say it's less a race and more we're just kind of, I don't know, it's like a, a more tame horse show and we're just doing it so that we can help out the family ranch. Let's do this. All right, I need to have $300 for the entry fee and TJ actually picks Radish Streamer, really? Well, she actually does have more training than Blueberry Bagel, so that makes sense. So, uh, track position firm, position middle, odds 3.7. We have the best odds! You guys told me make sure you run on the best odds. Also, track surface is firm on this track. So, let's go ahead and get started. Look at Radish Dreamer's tail! Oh, that's really pretty. I didn't know horses could have like a little bit of white at the top of the tail like that. That's really fun. And thank you for letting me know the position has to do with like the starting position when you're leaving the gate. And now I want to try really hard to save up all of our sprint energy until the end. Fingers crossed. I just want to get more money to clean up the family farm. Oh, Radish Dreamer, you're like the only horse with like a black coat here. It's an early morning event, apparently. All right. Oh, I didn't get didn't get as much as I wanted. That's okay. Oh, jeez, get out of the way, you guys! Okay, I want to stay close to the edge. You guys told me, because that will actually really help you. Easy going dagger. What a name! And then you want to save, save your energy until the final sprint. Oh no you don't. Oh no you don't. All right, we want to, we want to try to squeeze into the gate a little, I think. All right, preferred position. Sprint charging. All right, she's sprinting. She's, oh no, they I thought I saved enough of the sprint energy, but I totally didn't. Arrgh! All right, I need to be a little bit more careful. We could have gotten so much more money. Good girl, Radish Dreamer, that was on me. Okay, I wasn't sure when I should go, but you know what? Sometimes the only way you can learn from this is just by going ahead and diving in and like just giving it your best. So Radish Dreamer, we're actually going to have you just be trotting restless walking curious oh she's so cute galloping inquisitive noble pawing pawing oh this is so cool i love how you can do these really cool pictures with them uh let's see yeah she's a little restless because she's like i really wanted to win this one i let you down again radish dreamer but i will do my best all right so let's see i think i need to go ahead oh we have payouts to collect i need that money because <laughs> otherwise i have no idea like how we're going to keep this going so, can I upgrade the house again? I would need to have uh, some lumber. Does the market have some lumber? Like, are these the things I need to be thinking about? <gasps> Look at future behemoth! Oh, very handsome! Can I breed up some foals while we wait? I keep waiting to be told, like, what to do. But maybe I can take some initiative? Can I, can I maybe have a foal, perhaps? Um, alright, let's see. I've got to figure out how to do this. Alright, well, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do another race for now. All right, Radish Dreamer, Vintage Vacation and Horse Compliment might actually have a better chance at this, but we're going to do our best here. Okay, now I know. Really kind of like pace yourself and I need to, I was listening to the flashy things where it was like, you're in the preferred position, go! Follow my gut. Horses and jockeys ready for the off at Sewell Meadows. Vintage vacation, the yeah, we're, we're totally saying this is more just like a, a casual horse show. <gasps> Look at the beautiful colors on that one! Wow! Is that vintage vacation? 
All right, we're not going to be intimidated. Yes. All right, all right, we've got it this time, guys. So we want to really wait till the final like set of meters, and we can apparently look behind us to slow down and get back in preferred position. Hold S. Okay, so we actually want to be in preferred position. I'm slowing down. I don't know if that was a good idea, but I guess, oh, you get more sprint energy the longer you're in preferred position. <gasps> See, sometimes the only time that you can really pick up on like how things work. I got it now, I got it now. Okay, okay. Okay, come on. Oh, come on, Rhino Streamer! Come on, come on, come on, come on! <gasps> Did we finally make it to first? <gasps> you guys! I think she finally made it! We made it to first! That was actually a lot trickier than I thought. I had to put a lot more focus into that. That was really cool! Congratulations, Rhino Streamer! Her first time at first place! Does she get, like, a cute little, like like reward or something for that because that would be really fun look at all the money we have oh thank goodness we've got to use that to fix grandpappy's farm oh wonderful okay that was actually pretty fun i liked that a lot yay and now she's up to level four all right well how do you think what do you think francis did we do a good job impressive your father would have been proud i think the competition's afraid of us keep it up Yay! I hope everybody just has a nice time. Sweet! Our prestige has increased. New goals are now available. We have new customization options so that eventually we can make our beloved Rose Stone from our Star Stable series uh, here as well. We can do full caring <gasps> and quick ride. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm feeling pretty... Ex oh my word. I'm feeling pretty excited about this, guys. <laughs> But all right, so thank you guys so much for joining us as we carry on with trying to make this uh, wonderful ranch work out. I actually forgot the name of my ranch. Did I say it was like Birdsong Way or something like that? Birdsong Trails? Maybe it's not Birdsong Trails, but I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to call it Birdsong Trails, our wonderful little ranch. And we're going to do our best to take good care of it. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for Radish Dreamer, yes, who just managed to go ahead and achieve such a wonderful race. <gasps> Look, she has a little adorable little badge now. Oh, I'm so proud of her. And if you guys would like to go ahead and join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. Yes, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.